Hello everyone and welcome back. My name is Mr. Cobalt and in this video I'm going to be covering other rechargeable batteries. So let's get into this. So there are three kinds of batteries, three that I'm going to be talking about. The first one is your nickel cadmium battery. Now this is the uh, battery that uh, I think a lot of people are familiar with. Uh, in this battery the anode is a solid cadmium and the uh the cathode is a nickel oxide hydroxide here uh so here's the what's going on at the anode again oxidation at the anode so you had cadmium reacting with oh minus hydroxide ion and that's going to produce your cadmium hydroxide plus two electrons and then at the cathode you have the reduction so here you have your nioh solid that's going to react with water and the two electrons. And then that's going to produce a nickel hydroxide, a nickel two hydroxide and hydroxide ion. Now this will produce about a one third voltage, uh, but there is a common problem with these and probably other rechargeable batteries in general is, uh, is knowing when to stop recharging. So if you, uh, uh, typically what you want to ideally what you want to do is stop as soon as all of your product has been converted back to reactants um, and, but if you keep going what will happen is other unwanted reactions will occur one of which is the hydrolysis of water to form uh, hydrogen and oxygen gases that is not a good thing this will cause explosions possibly overheating uh, so uh, one uh, thing that most commercial batteries are going to have, uh, commercial battery chargers, are going to have sensors. And those sensors will usually pick up on either uh, very small uh, voltage changes or on heat, um, uh, sensing uh, heat, a certain increase of heat. Um, and so that's a, a way of telling you that you're done charging the battery. Um, that's the first one. So your nickel cadmium battery is the first one. Uh, and then the second one is your nickel metal hydride battery. Now the nickel hydride bat metal hydride battery has the same cathode reaction as the uh, nickel cadmium battery. So here you have your cathode. And so the same reaction occurs here. Um, the only difference here is that instead of uh, two electrons being uh, taken, you got one electron being taken. And so the main difference is going to be at the anode where you have hydrogen atoms that are held in a metal alloy. So they're in the metal alloy and those are going to be oxidized. And so here are the reactions at the oxidation reduction. Uh, so anode and cathode. So uh, oxidation is going to be the metal hydride is going to be reacting with your hydroxide ion and that's going to produce the metal and then you've got h2o being formed plus your uh, uh electron so one electron is produced that one electron again is going to be picked up by the nioh solid reacting with water to pick up that electron and then you get your nickel 2 hydroxide formed with the hydroxide so notice here that the reaction is all ones where here it's twos, right? So, so same reaction, but just a different number of moles that is being reacting. Um, now this uh, kind of battery, rechargeable battery is more environmentally friendly and also has a, a more, it's more energy dense. So it's about, can be about twice that of a nickel cadmium battery. This is the most common choice of your hy hybrid EV uh, cars. And finally, the third kind that you are probably familiar with is your lithium ion battery. These are the batteries that you typically will find in your laptop computer, your smartphone, or your digital camera. Uh, so these are the most expensive kind. Lithium is the least dense metal. And so because it's the least dense metal, it will have a high energy density. Uh, these batteries work on by the motion of lithium ions from the anode to the cathode. So these guys have a different structure or different um, um, uh, way of working than the ones we've covered so far. So what happens is you have an anode. The anode is composed of graphite 
with lithium ions in between the layers. So if you remember graphite, the structure of graphite is you have these kind of chicken wire structure of your uh, carbon. So you got like a wire mesh of carbon and then that's um, those are going to be layered. So one on top of the other. Between the layers, you have your lithium ions. Uh, so then the cathode is going to be your lithium transition metal oxide. So here you've got a couple of examples. You got lithium cobalt O2, LiCO2, or you got lithium with manganese oxide. So those would be your, your uh, cathode. And so again, when you discharge the battery, when you're using the battery or discharging it to do something, then the lithium ions go from the anode to the cathode. And so in that process, the transition metal is reduced. So either the manganese here or the cobalt here is gonna be reduced. Now, when you recharge the battery, uh, the lithium ions are gonna go from the anode back to the cathode. And in that case, the transition metal is going to be reduced. And so that's how these batteries work. And again, as I said, these are often used in smartphones, laptop computers, digital cameras. Okay, so that's uh, uh, what I have for you with regarding the other rechargeable batteries. I hope you found this video interesting. If you have, um, then please, by all means, like the video, share the video with your friends, hit that like button and also subscribe to my channel hit that notification bell right up there also hit that all button so that way you can be notified by all the videos i put out and finally put a comment down in the comment section let me know what you think and if you've got any questions i would love to hear from you thanks for joining me and have a great day